Oxford Read and Discover, Level Three: Life in Rainforests, by Cheryl Palin, read by Nils Hognestad, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2010. Introduction. A tropical rainforest is a forest of tall trees that's warm all year. It's called a rainforest because it usually rains every day. It can rain more than two hundred and fifty centimeters in one year. Many amazing animals and plants live in rainforests. What do you know about tropical rainforests? How tall is a kapok tree? How long does a sloth sleep every day? How many eyes does a tarantula have? What do hummingbirds drink? Discover. Now read and discover more. About life in tropical rainforests. Chapter One: Tropical Rainforests. All the tropical rainforests are near the equator. Most of them are in the tropics. The biggest tropical rainforest is the Amazon rainforest in South America. The second biggest. Is the Congo rainforest in Africa? South Asia also has lots of tropical rainforests. There are smaller rainforests in Central America, Madagascar, India, Australia, and on the islands near Australia. Tropical rainforests cover only about six percent of Earth, but They have fifty percent of all the different types of animal and plant that we know. About ten square kilometers of rainforest can have seven hundred and fifty types of tree, one thousand five hundred types of other plant, four hundred types of bird, and one hundred and fifty types of butterfly. Some very big animals live in tropical rainforests. Jaguars are the biggest cats in the Amazon rainforest. Chapter Two: Rainforest Layers. Tropical rainforests have layers. The top layer is the emergent layer. The tops of the tallest trees are in this layer. It's very windy. Eagles and bats live here. The next layer is the canopy. The big branches and leaves of the tall trees are here. There are many types of animal in this layer, because there's light and lots of food. Monkeys and toucans live in the canopy. The next layer is the understory. The tops of the small trees are in this layer. It's dark and hot. Jaguars and tree frogs live here. The bottom layer is the forest floor. The roots of the trees are in this layer. Many insects live on the forest floor. Some big animals like anteaters live here too. They eat the insects. Discover. The kapok tree is one of the tallest rainforest trees. It can grow up to seventy meters tall. Chapter three: Plants. Animals and people get lots of food from rainforest plants. Bananas, pineapples, and nuts. All grow in the rainforest. We can make things from rainforest plants too. People make clothes and bags from pineapple leaves. We also use some plants to make medicines. 
we can use some rainforest trees, like the balsa tree, for wood. We can use the rubber tree for latex to make rubber. Many rainforest plants are homes for animals, like monkeys, birds, and insects. Some frogs sleep between the leaves of big plants. Some birds and other small animals live in tree holes. They make nests for their babies in the holes. Orangutans sleep in nests in trees. They make the nests from leaves and branches. Discover. Orangutans use big leaves as umbrellas when it rains. Chapter Four: Rivers. Tropical rainforests have some of the biggest rivers on Earth, like the Mekong River in Asia, and the Congo River in Africa. The biggest rainforest river is the Amazon River in South America. The Amazon is about six thousand four hundred kilometers long. Many smaller rivers go into big rainforest rivers. More than one thousand smaller rivers go into the Amazon. Many animals live in rainforest rivers. The Amazon has more than three thousand types of fish. One example is the piranha. It has big teeth. Anacondas also live here. The anaconda is one of the biggest snakes in the world. People need rainforest rivers too. Rivers give people fish to eat and water. Rivers are also important for travel. Many people travel by boat because there aren't many roads. Chapter Five, Mammals. A mammal is an animal that breathes air and drinks milk from its mother. Lots of mammals live in rainforests. Chimpanzees are mammals, and they live in African rainforests. They eat leaves, fruit, insects, and other small animals. Sloths live in the rainforests in Central America. And South America, they are the slowest mammals in the world. They eat leaves and fruit, and they sleep for about eighteen hours every day. Discover. Sloths are so slow that algae grow on their fur. Tigers live in rainforests in Asia. They are the biggest cats in the world. They hunt and eat other big mammals, fish, and birds. They like water, and they can swim well. Platypuses live in rainforests in Australia. They hunt under water, and they eat insects, shellfish, and worms. Male platypuses have poisonous stingers on their feet. Chapter Six: Mini Beasts. Most of the mini beasts in rainforests are insects. The biggest butterfly in the world lives in the rainforest in Papua New Guinea, near Australia. It's the female Queen Alexandra's birdwing. Its wings can be thirty-one centimeters across. Mantises live in rainforests all around the world. They use camouflage to hide from other animals. They can look like leaves, sticks, or flowers. Many types of beetle live in the rainforest. Rhinoceros beetles have a horn on their head, like rhinos. They are big and strong. 
Spiders live in rainforests too. Tarantulas live in South American rainforests. They are probably the biggest spiders in the world. Their legs can be thirty centimeters long. Discover. Tarantulas have eight eyes, but they can't see very well. Chapter Seven, Birds. Some rainforest birds are very colorful. The Australian king parrot has a red head, green wings, and a blue tail. It has a yellow circle around each eye. What seen birds are black, brown, gray, orange, red, and blue? They live in the Amazon rainforest. Their babies have two claws on each wing. They use these claws to climb before they can fly. Some rainforest birds are big. The female northern cassowary from Papua New Guinea can be up to two meters tall. It can weigh fifty-eight kilograms. It has very big feet, and it can't fly. Other rainforest birds are very small. The smallest birds are hummingbirds. They drink nectar from flowers. They can flap their wings very fast, from fifteen to eighty times every second. Chapter Eight: People. Many different groups of people live in tropical rainforests. The Penan people live in Sarawak. Sarawak is in Borneo, in Asia. The Penan people travel through the rainforest in families of up to thirty people. Each family has one hut to live in and one smaller hut to sleep in. When they travel. They build new huts. The Penan people make flour from sago palm trees. They hunt and eat deer, smaller mammals, and birds. Sometimes they use blowpipes to hunt. The rainforest is the home of the Penan people, but some other people cut down the trees. Then the rainforest is different. Sometimes the Penan people can't find the plants that they use for medicines. Sometimes they can't find clean water or food. Chapter Nine: Rainforest Problems. Tropical rainforests are getting smaller. People cut down the trees to get wood. Then they sell the wood. Lots of furniture, doors, and floors are made from the wood. Some farmers also cut down rainforest trees. They do this to keep cows on the land, or to grow coffee or sugar. Then they can sell the cows coffee and sugar. Trees are good for the soil. When there are no trees, the soil is not very good. Then new trees grow more slowly, and some trees die. With no trees, rainforest people and animals have no homes. They can't find food, and they can't live in the rainforest. Discover. People cut down about twenty thousand square kilometers of rainforest every year. This. Is called deforestation. Chapter Ten: Save the Rainforests. How can we save the tropical rainforests? We can buy coffee, sugar, and bananas from farmers who do not cut down rainforest trees. We can buy furniture that is not made from rainforest wood. We can buy recycled paper. This saves trees because paper is also made from wood. 
Discover. Sumatran tigers live on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia in Asia. There are only about two hundred and fifty tigers there. If we save rainforests, we can save tigers. We can teach other people about rainforests and the people that live there. We can teach them about the amazing rainforest plants and rivers. We can teach them about the special mammals, birds, and mini beasts that live there too. Rainforests are beautiful and important places. Save the rainforests.